Hey everybody, Ed Lowe with Motor Trend here in beautiful Pebble Beach for Monterey Car Week. I'm in the Wagoneer booth with a very special guest and good friend of mine, Ralph Gilles, head of design for Stellantis. Ralph, get Hi. in here. Ed, great to see you. How are you doing? See you, buddy. Awesome. So, what are we doing here, man? This is Monterey Car Week. You got, uh, we got a vehicle here. It's grand, you might say. The yeah. grand wagon here. <laughs> I haven't seen it in the flesh. Yeah. I have a lot of thoughts, but the first thing I want to do actually yeah. is give me your eyes. You're a you're a professional designer. This has been your uh, you know your life's work. When you first come across this vehicle, how do you want people to see it? What do you think is the, what hits you first? What what well, I how think do we look at? It? What I hope hits people is a presence. When we exited that that segment back in '91 with the last generation one, people still talk about the car. And they usually uh, mention words like elegant, right? American, elegance, uh, craftsmanship. There was a lot of detailing on the vehicle. So when they see the new one, I want them to see the same thing. Wow, that thing's got a lot of presence, a lot of artisanship all over the vehicle. So presence to yeah. me means things like stance, exactly. right? And the way, the way it sits on the road. And the other thing people will notice, and you'll see it inside and out, is the windows are huge. All of the windows are that way. They're all framed and, and beautifully celebrated. The better, better adventure when you go out to, right, right. to nature, yeah. It is a very bold front end, and you put a lot of detail into the grill itself. What, what do you call the surface? It's knurling. It's, knurling. it's very, right. very fine knurling, uh, inspired by high-end watches. Right, which is then also repeated on the inside. Exactly. Right. That's what this vehicle seems to be about, is there's multiple levels of care and detail. Right. Right. And we took our time. This took us over four years to do. So now we're at the back, and this is kind of the way you like to see it and yeah. take it all in. Yeah, well, you know, we, we know in traffic and in real world situations, we do look at other vehicles. Sometimes you're contemplating a car in, in traffic staring at the back of the vehicle, and we wanted you to, to appreciate, wow, this thing is special. The people behind this product wanted to really finish it off, and that's what we did. This vehicle, actually, the whole vehicle is inspired by American architecture um, in cool. little details, and, and the lettering is part of that. You know, you, you know those buildings that had the standoff lettering and it's meant to, to read a little bit better in traffic as well. So. Right. Groovy. You want to you hop inside? Yeah, go ahead. So the minute you uh, you pull on that handle, right. <laughs> you get the welcoming. So yes, we have these stainless steel straight uh, power step, uh, again celebrating the entry. Very cool. So, <laughs> so Ed, when you, uh, you sit down for the first time, what, what's the first thing you notice? Well, I notice all the screens. This one down here, that does the seats, the seat massage. Um, and then I heard uh, s something like 75 inches of screen. Did you yeah. got it checked every box? Yeah, every it's box counting box? the entertainment screen and the rear comfort screen. That's yeah, wild. it's about that, yeah. Thank you for the, <laughs> for the volume knob yeah. <laughs> and for the tuning knob. Because yeah. again, like like you said, touch screens are great, but if I just want to turn the volume down, like that's it's one motion. Yeah. I, I don't get it like, like it's great. But also this Macintosh, uh, stereo system. Yeah, if you're an audiophile, Macintosh has, has their own yeah. club. 1300 plus watts of sound. I mean, high quality, crisp sound, 23 speakers. You're like, oh yeah, <laughs> you know, someone took the extra time. Speaking of oh yeah, mm -hmm. you got a, you got some really big sunroofs. Yeah, we got two panoramic sunroofs going on. We've got uh, multiple speakers. The Macintosh team just wanted speakers everywhere, so we, we tried to integrate them. So and, three rows, mm -hmm. what's the best? Uh, seat in the house, would you say? Uh, you know, the second row seat is awesome. Okay. It really is uh, surprisingly good. Lots of legroom. You can stretch out. They recline, of course. Uh, but I think the passenger seat, because you got the screen. Okay. You got this incredible massage system. Um, I had a tester room. My wife found out it had massage. She was like, OK, take the long way home. <laughs> you know? That's great. So. so look, we looks good, sounds good. Even smells pretty good. <laughs> like uh, no, seriously, I very it's impressive. That Corinthian leather. It's good. <laughs> it totally fits the vibe here. Uh, based, especially on the foot traffic, I think you guys have seen. We've already seen a lot of people stop and stare and get in and poke around. Uh, I mean, congratulations. Uh, I think on a, a beautiful vehicle, super well executed. Uh, quite a statement. Thank you. I think, and I hope uh, you know, taking care of this brand is important to us. Bringing it back. Uh, based on everything we've heard over the last few years, people have willed this vehicle back, really honestly. We're, we're building it uh, really for the country and for people that have wanted to see the Wagoneer uh, reappear. Uh, a lot of sweat, equity, and love. <laughs> and it shows. In yeah. many ways, our best work, so awesome. thank you. Well, it certainly is grand. Uh, congrats to you and the team. Take care.